buddy.
Attention shoppers, the store is now closing. Please make your way to the exits in a calm and orderly fashion. Here, hood feller. Any chance you seen him? <laughs> Die gum, you Robin Hood. Silly Wolf, you can't catch Robin Hood and his merry men. <laughs> <laughs> Those merry men really get my blood to boiling. I don't know, but I've, I've been told we're, we're the best at digging gold. Left, right, left, right. Riding Hood holding up traffic. Can't you visit your grandma after rush hour? You'll pay for this, little Red. Hold it right there, son. I'm the inspector around these parts. Where are you going with that there basket? I am on my way to my sick grandma's house with the goodies, Tom. Now hold on there. Let's just have a look at them there goodies. Fried chicken, a banana, custard pie, bottle of apple juice. Huh, 
Grandma can't be too sick to be chewing down on all this takeout. I'll just hold on to this for safekeeping. <laughs> She's throwing a sick bash. <clears throat> it's vernacular for spectacular. Count me in, cousins. That should do it. A little detour should send Red straight to me. Get lost, kids. I've got bigger fish to fry. You mean me? Oh, get lost! <laughs> Now let's see about this sick bash. <laughs> You'll make an excellent plate of wolf puffs. Sit tight, boys. The main course has arrived. Aha! Just what I've been waiting for. Ah, we mustn't skip protocol. What big eyes I have. What big ears I have. Big nose, big mouth, yada, yada, yada. Let's cut to the chase. There, now, I hope you're all cozy. I'm not your granny, but I do love a basket of goodies. Ah, Robin Hood and his merry men. Curse you, Robin Hood. This isn't even your story. Now you will get what's coming to you, you evil bitch. <laughs> Now I've got a little something for you, Robin Hood. Forgot to say, what a big broom you have, Grandma! <laughs> hey, wait, that's not good. That there gingerbread man can hurt somebody. That's the idea. I'm all out of fancy cookies, so I hope you like the plain ones. Enough! No more playtime with the pastries. Now we use a little witchcraft. We really must do less merrymaking and more helping next time. <laughs> now all we need is to light the fire and get cooking. Oh, now what? They just don't make gingerbread houses like they used to. Guess I spoke too soon. Hey, Sheriff Uncle Jerry, nothing going on worth staying up for. False alarm. Hey, a wishing star. What'd you wish for? I'll never tell. Atta boy. Being a bank robber's cat is a lonely job. Hungry one, too. Good thing old Tom knows how to chase the blues away. Hey, I just made my biggest haul ever. I'm gonna hide it in this pinata where no one will suspect. You guard my loot with your life, cat. Anything happens to it and... Got it!
with the pinati clam. <laughs> There's a time bomb inside, see? We deliver this to the bank manager for his birthday, and when it goes boom, we run in and rob the vault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's what was causing everyone to itch. Fancy that, mate! And I thought they were digging our music! What about our fans? Uh, what do you want to do? How <laughs> positively medieval! You're all right, mate. How'd you like to be an honorary rat? <laughs> 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 
Last one in is a flea ridden rat. Whoa, this is great. We should do this every year. Swing about the curtsy, getting into the curtsy, twitch it, it's it. We all. from the fried herring at dinner. Ugh, just throw them away already. It still stinks. It must be the skillet there. Still there. Just get rid of the whole stove.
about territory, cat. You gotta respect the fella's territory. The house is yours, the yard is mine. So let's have no more of this territorial confusion. Capiche? How you doing, pal? You okay? We can't have you in the house today, Tom. We're steaming the carpets and polishing the floors. You and Spike will have to share the yard. I may have to share my territory with you, but I ain't gonna share it all. This here is your territory. This here is mine. Now, do we have an understanding? I see. It's gonna be like that, is it?
I'm getting sleepy with all these stories, Papa. Yeah, I'm ready to make me to sleep too. <laughs> One last story. Yeah, what's the name of this story? Oh, I can't tell you that. It would give it away. Once upon a time, there was a happy and busy couple. But they had a rodent problem. The mice would play Oompa Oompa music night and day. driving me crazy in the melon. Yeah, that's nice, dear. Danger! Hey, is that my ear plugging scarf? Don't we have a cutscene? Yeah, we do. All right, cutscene. Go get some spice. and couldn't stop the mice, he was politely asked to leave. Uh, uh, huh? What are you looking at? So I got my beard trapped in a bear trap. That makes it a beard trap. Hey, you. I'll make you a deal. If you release me from harm, I'll grant you a charm. If you help me with this, I'll grant you your wish. Look, open the bear trap so I can get out and I'll do some magic fairy stuff and make your dreams come true. Hey, Captain, Where are you? Aha! Uh -huh. So, uh, what's your wish gonna be? Consider it done! You're all set, Cat. Oh, you got rid of those mice! Come, Yinja. Let's the cats and relax, and we'll go to the market to buy a nice big fish. And on the way, they told everyone what an amazing mouse catching cats and they had. Yeah, must have been a hundred mice. And to think he caught those mice all by himself. All by himself? Stealing all the credit for my work. Now, when the gnome poofed the mice out of Tom's cottage, they poofed into the king's castle. I mean, they had to go somewhere. Okay, royal advisors, I've had quite enough of this Oompa Oompa music. The peasants tell stories of a fearless Katzen whose prowess for catching mice is unmatched. Bring me that Katzen! I understand that you are the best mouser in all the land. If you get rid of the mice, I'll give you my royal crown to wear. I mean, uh, just my day crown, you understand. But if you fail, it's the dungeon for you. Now, go and catch those mice. Oh, I see you've already started playing with it. <laughs> oh, such a ridiculous looking creature. <laughs> I know you'll have lots of fun with this one. Come and get the kitty cat. Come and get it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Go fetch the kitty, Choo Choo. A perfect Betty Bye buddy for nappy times. Oh, I'm so happy he's enjoying his new toys. Now, what am I forgetting? Oh, yes, the dry cleaning is in the trunk. A snap.
the cat dragged in. Thanks for staying out of the way today, Tom. This calls for your favorite dinner, Red Snapper. Out, little man, because I know a shortcut. Thank you, Mr. Cat. You're very helpful. <laughs> Sounds like another food delivery. Looks like it's bath time, mister. Good thing I bought some more pet shampoo. You're going to need it. Hold still, Tom. Aw, you look adorable, Thomas. and flowery like. Hey, you two, cut it out! Can't you see I'm trying to get some sleep here? What the? <laughs> hey, look at this mess. You carpeted the whole yard. <gasps> Looks like you're losing your hair, pal.
Is what we up for this? You want me to help? Let's see. Four easy ways to stop hair loss. If I do it, you'll stop shedding all over my yard. Number one, mud packs. Let's get to work. Okay, cat. Here comes your treat. Keep them coming, mouse. I don't know if it's working, but it sure is fun. <laughs> What did you get into? Rick! Hmm? Oh, well, how did this get here? It wasn't me, I swear. I didn't need anything. Look, you had a weak moment. Just don't repeat it. <laughs> Freaky Frankies, Freaky Frankies, cheese, chicken, burger, fries. He's sleepwalking! So that's what's been going on. Pizza pie. I better not try to wake him suddenly. This stuff has got to go, though. Rick, honey, you've been sleepwalking to Freaky Frankies. So that's what's going on. Did I pick up anything good? <laughs> Never mind. Tonight, I'm taking every precaution to keep you honest and healthy. You say so. Frankie's fried chicken. Freaky Frankie's fried chicken. What? Where? Uh, Ginger, hun, snap out of it. You snap out of it. I'm taking a cheat day and no one can stop me. <laughs> you know what, Tom? Two can play at that game. Hey, Cat, maybe he's got the right idea after all. How's about sharing some of that grub? Help! You okay, Uncle Jack? Thank you, my dear nephew, but no. It was at the health spa that I learned to eschew the trappings of the baked goods. I choose now to fortify myself with the greens of Mother Earth. Celery, for instance. All of these sweet things can no longer tempt me. Oh dear. Off it goes. Certainly it's more difficult to remove. Perhaps just to clean it off. <laughs> Oh, I really should stop. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> My goodness, what's come over me? Thank goodness you were here to aid me, nephew Jerry. <laughs> oh dear, it seems you've been entrapped by a jelly mold. I must come to your aid as you did me. 
Unfortunately, that snacking has made me soft in the middle. Well, exercise is the cure for that. <laughs> oh, hello, dear nephew. Spike, here, boy, come and get it. I always like to keep a souvenir from a great meal. Good kitty. Hey, Rick, do you remember that bulldog registry we sent Spike's hair clippings to? No. Well, listen, it turns out Spike is a descendant of a line of royal English bulldogs. Wow, our Spike's a blue blood. And get this, there's an invitation from a Lord Basingstoke to come to his castle in England, all expenses paid. Pack your bags, we're going to England. Richard and Ginger, welcome to Basingstoke Manor. Ah, Lord Basingstoke, I presume. Ah, and this must be Spike. <laughs> oh, dear. Bad dog, Spike. Um, he must be excited from the trip. 
It's quite all right. A bit of canine exuberance is in order under the circumstances. Now, it would mean the world to us if Spike came to accept our humble ancestral estate as his permanent home. Perhaps you could visit as often as you like. Now, I'll just pop inside to arrange tea. Meanwhile, you two can borrow the car to go sightseeing, if you wish. Oh, yes, we wish. Ha, diggity. And you must be Thomas, Spike's feline counterpart. Pleasure to meet you. From what I hear, we'll have no trouble with mice here with you around. <laughs> Allow me to introduce Harcourt, the top dog at Basingstoke Manor. He'll be happy to show you around the grounds. What do you say, cuz? Give me some paw. Must not get the concept. So, as you can see, dogs have played a role in this home's history for centuries. <laughs> to get us acquainted with each other, we'll have a spot of tea. A spike. And here's Harcourt with the tea. Right on time, Harcourt. Now, Spike, you may have had tea back home, but I think you all find this cup to be uniquely exhilarating. Pinky's up. Why don't you two go mingle with the dogs from the neighboring estates here at the Kennel Club? Ooh, hear that? We're gonna mingle, Hockey! Hi, Paul! Don't leave me hanging! He left me hanging. Allow me to introduce you to Dean, Duke, and Duchess. Greetings. Delighted. Charmed, I'm sure. So, what do you do for kicks around here? You know, action, fun. Well, the uh, cricket, I suppose. Cricket? You mean you just play with bugs? No, boy. Cricket is a game, rather like your baseball. Now, we're the batsman and Harcourt is the bowler. When the ball comes in, try to hit it. I say, old boy. Well played. And here we have our... A diving pool. Check this out. Cannonball! Come on in. Last one in is a rotten dog biscuit! Here, here. I say, wait for us! Cowabunga! Yeah, that there's a piranha. Well, we better cut him loose before he eats us. <laughs> <laughs> 